This is the most ambitious film of the year so far, and it succeeds as a character study in obsession and redemption. There are some who might feel the time in the heat of this film and miss out on a remarkable performance from Charlie Hunnam and Robert Patterson and little Tom Holland and a supporting cast that helps create this green and yellow and gray world we're drawn into. The production design, costumes, cinematography, all perfectly carry what is an enormous story. It spans decades. Charlie Hunnam plays Percy Fawcett, a young soldier needing to redeem his family name without a way to do it, until he is offered a chance to prevent a war between Bolivia and Brazil, as the rubber trade along their border rivers becomes more and more lucrative, but the borders less and less clear. The cost to his reputation, his family, his sanity, his entire life, piles as years of obsession continue to pull him into the jungle as evidence of a hidden city appears before him. The chance to raise his name out of the muck is quickly put aside by a greater obsession. Discovery. Rewriting history. And you feel the history of this story and the absurdity of this man's goal as sickness, heat, the natives, World War I and the creatures of the jungle all battle him at every step. It's not a single moment or sequence that's staying with me, but the ideas that the story unfolds so patiently and effectively. And not that there aren't memorable scenes, from the first foray into the jungle where they happen upon an opera, or the perfectly executed battle charge from World War I, it's incredible. Exploring ego in a society where it means everything is nothing new in film, with epics like Lawrence of Arabia or even Raging Bull doing so perfectly. But somehow this movie still feels unique and important. I was so impressed by the way we see the jungle adapt and grow with each expedition, how the music and cinematography, the color grading, it all hypnotizes. Most audience members will go in not knowing that this is a true story. And I think that's because this movie prevents itself from falling into any biographical film cliches. It feels first like a film with a good story, and not just strolling through the chapters of Percy Fawcett's life story. I give Lost City of Z 4 out of 5. This movie's great. Please go see it. Thanks for watching Movie! 